Uh, there is a problem that it is an epidemic uh, around the country, but in particular here in L.A., uh, the homeless crisis. As long as I've lived in L.A., Harvey, I've never seen it as bad as it is right now. Charles, I'm an old dog, and I have lived here most of my life. I have never seen anything close to what it's like now. We know that there are all kinds of, there's all kinds of red tape with the city and getting things done, but there are people who are stepping up, uh, private citizens who are doing um, what, what they can. Um, and we're about to talk to two of them, uh, John Cryer uh, from Two and a Half Men, of course you know him, and his wife Lisa Joyner, a longtime journalist here in Los Angeles. They have teamed up with a mission, uh, the Hope of the Valley Rescue Mission, to do something I think is so unique and so... Um, I, don't, I can't believe that people didn't think of this before. It, so. it, 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 Charles, I think the word you were ser searching for was transformative, because it really yeah, is. It really, really is. could be. So uh, let's let's bring him in now. Uh, joining us, John Cryer, Lisa Joyner. Uh, thank you so much for being with us, guys. Welcome hey, to guys. Live. Uh, it's a pleasure. Hey, thank guys. you for having us. Well, we are thrilled, and I, I got to tell you, I'm inspired by what you're doing. Why don't you explain the concept of these tiny houses and what you've done? Basically, what it is is, you know, we for years, you know, you guys were alluding to it. It's, this has been a problem all over the country and in Los Angeles for years. Um, it's been made exponentially worse by the pandemic. Um, we're seeing it, for example, there are other mitigating factors. People who have been let out of prison for minor drug offenses, but they've been given no opportunity. They give, they're given a, a, a bus ticket. And, and what do you do from there? So there's such an unprecedented need for transitional housing and for care and for education and for uh, dignity to these people who are living on the streets. And what Hope of the Valley has been doing is they found, and they've done a lot of research, that you can put together a tiny house village in the neighborhoods where these people, which by the way, there are community members, there are fa our families, they're not people being shipped in. They can do these tiny houses in a day at a fraction of the cost that it takes to do affordable housing. Wow. And so we were able to put together, yes, you were able to put together these homes, these places, by the way, with locks on the doors. So the women who are being sexually abused on the streets every day feel a sense of security. They can take their children into these tiny homes and feel safe. John and Lisa, in addition to the homes, which is a tremendous help, obviously, what other services uh, does Hope of the Valley provide? They have showers and uh, laundry services and referral services for mental health and for employment. And it creates a, a community, um, you know, albeit temporary, but it's a safe community. And a lot of the times when you're, if you put yourself in the place of unhoused people who are on the street, who are dealing with the terrifying realities of on the street, you understand why the drug epidemic is so bad amongst unhoused people. It's because they're living in terror all day. They have no reason to feel secure for their, what, what few belongings they have left for their personal security. Uh, and these places uh, uh, provide uh, a, an environment of safety and a place to store their most valuable things as well. So and bring in their animals. Even. And bring, they can bring in their animals. And uh, you know, the, these, oh. these tiny houses are, there are two beds per house. And so that's, you know, a, a mother and child, or if there are companions who can live together, or, or they can be for single uh, unhoused people. So it gives them an enormous amount of leeway. It gives them a real privacy um, and, uh, and, and allows them to be human again and to feel human again. I, I think it's really important important um, for people to understand that this is not something beyond their reach, that you can contribute and make a difference. And in that regard, you should talk a little bit about how much it costs to build a house, because I was shocked at how little it costs to find somebody proper housing, because the amount is going to be important for this to expand, right? Absolutely, Harvey. It's I, I think it's about $7,000 per unit. Was that yeah, $7,500 $7, per, per unit. unit. And again, you can get them done, put together in a day, day and a half. Um, for example, when Los Angeles, we're having these horrible storms, these uh, storms, you probably saw it in the streets, all these people um, freezing, these women just out there freezing with their kids. These can be put up that quickly. If people want to help, um, is there a place they can go online uh, to contribute or maybe lend their services? What can they do? Hope of the Valley. You know, go online and look under Hope of the Valley. There are so many, there are opportunities to volunteer. If you, you know, say you, you don't financially, you can't help out. There are, um, they're always looking for donations as for computers, for example. Um, they're just starting to open because COVID, it was very difficult to get in there and, and figure out um, how to help people and match them up with 
what sort of job skills they had because they go further. I mean, they're, they're not just showers and housing. They look for the next step in housing. They've put so many people in um, permanent housing and apartments. I mean, the stories, I mean, I could cry just thinking about them, how they spent three months, they've worked their way through it, and they've gotten, in, gotten them into permanent housing. And this happens because people care. And people don't look on the street and say, oh, not in my neighborhood. I don't want to be, right. in I'm scared of these people. These people are mentally ill. These people are human beings, and these people deserve a chance. Absolutely. Well, you, you guys and Hope of the Valley are, are giving them that. And um, uh, people should definitely go online and, and see what to, if you want to contribute uh, in any way possible. Obviously, it will be a tremendous aid uh, to this uh, crisis. And, John, and, 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 and kudos to you guys, honestly. I mean, you know, this is the kind of inspirational stuff that gets, that, that creates change. You know, we're just here getting out the word. And you guys, well, thank important. you, because I know TMZ has been very kind uh, yeah. to talk about this really important issue. And just because of something that you put online, I somebody reached out to me and said, how can I help? Yeah, you know, just great. Just, just this morning. This morning. So, so thank, thank you. you. That's fantastic. Made our day. Made our day. Right, and people should know that. Go to the website. We have uh, we have a post up about this, and you can find a link in there uh, to reach Hope of the Valley. John and Lisa, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks.